Hi guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric here at another, the same panel. I wanted to explain another thing to you guys. Um, this is actually called a split bus bar panel. So in Article 240, I believe it's around dot six or eight. Um, I could look it up if I get closer or more time here. But it talks about not having more than six handles to disconnect at a residential home. Um, and actually in commercial as well. But the six handle rule um, applies that if you kill this one, it kills all of these lower branch circuits. So these are your lights and your outlets, and the two wires that come down are in the back, and these are actually manufactured here to these lugs. These are really not to code anymore. Um, if you do any kind of panel upgrade, you're not gonna find these to replace, and if you did find it at a wholesale store on Craigslist, you're not supposed to put them in. The code now requires whatever the jurisdiction does, and the AHA, the authority having jurisdiction, it will state, for instance, in Colorado, most cities are going to the point that you have to have one main disconnect outside. So this is actually a panel and a meter together. I get a lot of calls on why do I have my panel outside and it came from the East Coast. This is just the way Colorado's always done it. I'm not sure why. Um, but the bottom line is, is that if this kills right here, all of these, this counts as one. And then these right here, since they're a two-pole tie, they'll count as two, three, and four. So this still meets code requirement when you sell your house to disconnect. Um, but some of the homes, like I got called about one in Fort Collins this week, they said that the meter's outside and the panel's inside the home and there is no main disconnect. Well, most authorities um, do not expect you to upgrade just because of that rule when you sell your home. Um, that's usually a home inspector just trying to nail you on something. The bottom line is that unless your panel fails or your meter, or maybe your service mask coming in gets bent by a storm or underground fed and you have to replace something in the meter that's the time that you update or you have like a hot tub you're putting in and maybe you have a 60 amp or 70 or 80 or even 100 amp service that can't support that and you're going to be putting that on um, we have done other things for a home like a sauna or solar panels and we've had to change the whole service well at that point now that you're upgrading yes then you have to apply that um, and you have to um, replace and put in your main disconnect up here. But right now this still meets code actually with only four main disconnects. The one thing that was kind of interesting, um, I got nailed on a, on a job for commercial this last week from an inspector on all my three pole breakers and it was like a Siemens uh, bolt-on type BL um, 10,000 AIC fault current breaker with all 20 amps. Well, I basically had a lot of three poles in that panel that weren't even my issue, but he made me come in with a tie bar and fix all those. Well, you can see on this panel, this was the 50 amp range. It didn't have a two pole tie. So I'm not even sure if in the 60s they required that. Here was the dryer. It was all single. So any time that you're going to share, whether it's a feeder or, an, or a branch circuit, you're sharing that neutral. Well, both of these have to simultaneously disconnect. And if it's not feeding neutral, for instance, like a base heater or water heater, you still have to have a two-pole tie right here or a three-pole tie if it's a three-pole breaker. Um, so, And then the split bus main was a 50 on this, and this was actually independent of each other as well. So their theory on that is that if one leg breaks, we kill power to the second leg, so that protects um, either energizing equipment or even the person that's looking at it or you know even a homeowner getting in there so for instance if you have like a dishwasher disposal and you kill your dishwasher but you leave your disposal or you're trying to change your disposal out and your dishwasher's running at the same time well that neutral is carrying current back on the other phase and if that's nine amps and the other circuits off you might get hit with nine amps just touching that neutral back behind the disposal so anyways you gotta make sure your two pull ties are in there uh, this is why when we pulled this new circuit we have two neutrals here with two hots uh, we did not share that neutral because of that fact um, but yeah, we went ahead and put that in, and now everything has a two-pole that's supposed to have that. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Have a great day.